going on everyone? My name is Dan and in today's video we're going to take a look at this Sony Ericsson C902. Now let's boot the phone up. And here we go. The phone has yet booted and I'm just gonna say no to the wizard. So this right here is the Sony Ericsson C902 released in 2008. June 2008 and this phone is pretty interesting uh, I think it looks like Nico Bellic's phone from GT4 it kind of uh, has the same aesthetic and uh, I acquired this phone a while ago in a phone lot of a couple of Sony Ericsson devices and I already owned one of these but it had like damage so I swapped it with that guy 99 we did some good trades he got that phone it has uh, some some minor issues with the buttons I think I don't remember correctly but I got scammed with that now this phone is pretty cool it is a candy bar phone that looks as simple as it is and might actually give the idea that it does not have a camera but we'll get into that a little bit later so you could kind of consider this a smartphone from back in the day it has Google Maps on it too and uh, I think it can, it actually has song recognition, so um, I could just play a song and it could probably recognize it, but I'm not really sure how that works without connection, so I could probably try something out and uh, hope that this works, but it probably won't. It's gonna use the internet for this, so I'm pretty sure that um, this does not work, but you know, pre-apps... See, it's not spotted right now because there's no internet connection. But there is a song recognizer in this feature phone from 2008. I could say this is a smartphone. It, of course, comes with the eSports. E I don't even know what it has. It's, it's got like Tetris and everything like that. But these are demos, right? So it comes with those basic games that you always see on the phones. It has video, DJ, music, DJ... You can make music, you can make videos on this, you can video edit, you're a photo disc jockey, a video disc jockey, you can, you can video edit on this phone, so that's pretty cool. It has email, it has internet, it's pretty much a smartphone at that point. Here, it has internet, does it have Wi-Fi? I'm pretty sure it does not have Wi-Fi, but we could check. It does not have Wi-Fi. It would be really cool to see if it did have internet with Wi-Fi, but unfortunately not. However, this thing, it can even tether Wi-Fi. It doesn't have Wi-Fi, but it can share its own network. So, as far as I can know, that's, uh, that's tethering. That's pretty cool to see. Well, if this thing had Wi-Fi, I would be able to check out some more of those features, but unfortunately that's not going to happen right now. I don't have a data SIM card to test phones on. But generally, this phone is pretty cool to see. I think this uh, particular phone has broken speaker. As you can see, the phone is quite fast. It isn't a phone that is like uh, a smartphone or something, but in my opinion, this thing is pretty quick. As you can see, it's no problem to go through the menus. And if we take a little look here, Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, it would seem like this phone has a broken speaker. I was pretty sure that was the was the problem with this one. It had a broken speaker, so that's a pretty sad thing. Now the Sony Ericsson C902 is a pretty neat little device, a little multimedia phone. There are pictures on this. They have the pictures of back rooms. So someone went to the back rooms and took some pictures with this phone back before it was even popular. Um, yeah, this is backrooms as, uh, as F. Anyways, what makes this phone particularly interesting is its camera and camera UI. And that is how it opens up like this and it reveals the camera. And take a look at that. Did you see that blue line? That's sick. This phone is really cool.
what also happens when you open and close this device, as you can see, around the sides of the display, the UI for the camera is enabled around the edges. This is actually touch buttons with haptic feedback. So if I want to focus, I can select whichever I want by tapping around on this touch. I can turn the flash on and off like this. I can turn a timer on. I can change the scene settings. I can take a look at the photo modes. It even has panoramic mode. I can switch to video camera. I can switch back to photo camera. This is something interesting. The, the way that this just has a photo mode as follows. It is pretty cool to see. It has many features and this adaptive thing around the edges where there are touch buttons that make sure that the phone will do what I want. It also has a flash. I'm not sure. Ooh, that's a bright flash. We just took a picture of ourselves. And honestly, this isn't even half bad for a 5 megapixel camera from 2008. It's actually really good. That is a pretty cool picture. Pretty good quality too. Wow, it, it actually, if I, if I change the camera mode, the light bar prompts that I did something, as you can tell. This is pretty cool. This phone is interesting. Pretty friggin' cool. There are also a couple videos on here, probably standard videos from the demo. Well, yeah, I'm not gonna go into too much detail on that, but it's pretty cool to see, like, we have a smartphone here, which is kind of in between smart and feature phone, and there are so many themes and, and other things to take a look at on this phone. This is a really cool blue theme. It really goes well together with the uh, interface of the camera. I really can't get enough of that blue line. This is sick. Now, not only that, but my phone is blue now. And this is actually the second time I have a C902. Like I said, I got scammed prior and you can watch the video. It's in the information tab. And that was a really bad situation. But um, later on, I got this phone in a different lot. This one was really good. Better than the uh, other one. And it's really cool to look into this because these are the type of phones I grew up with. And I'm really happy with that. Now, I never used one of these phones, but uh, if you use one of these phones, let me know in the comment section below and tell me about your experience with this phone. Really interested to hear what your experience was with a phone like this, since it's really cool. And if you're looking for one of these phones right now to use, you should take a look at your connectivity in your country, because this, uh, this is a GSM and ASPA device so that's like 2g i can't really back it up that well i think that hspa is 3g but i'm not sure about it so uh make sure 2g and 3g are available where you live if you want to use one of these phones because yeah they are connectivities that are dying out unfortunately but you could find all this information on gsm arena anyway so um when it comes to the video camera quality it's only true 20p and 30 fps so the Video quality is a lot worse than the picture quality. Um, I'm just going to take a quick look here what we have. We have an accelerometer. Oh, yeah. So this actually does have an accelerometer. This is pretty interesting to see, especially on a phone like this. Now, this sensor isn't really 360, but it will rotate in multiple directions and we can take a closer look at the back rooms in wide angle view now so this was my video i hope you enjoyed this video on the sony ericsson c902 and if you did don't forget to leave a like leave a comment and if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching this video and see you all later peace out